In terms of this uh, question of sequencing, one of the things that we wanted to look at at Mount Sinai is, um, you know, obviously if we knew which drug to give which patient, we would do that. But for now, we have all of these different choices and we decided to do a trial, uh, an investigator-initiated trial led by one of my colleagues, Bobby Liao, called PRINT. PRINT stands for Prostate Cancer Intensive Non-Cross-Reactive Therapy. And we have an abstract and poster at this uh, meeting. And what we did was we gave all of the different approved treatments in rapid sequence. Rather than just give one drug until the patient became resistant to that drug, our hypothesis was that we could give uh, short bursts of these drugs in pairs, really, to see if we could try to uh, eradicate the resistant clone. So in module one, we gave abiraterone uh, plus radium-223 until radium-223 plus abiraterone was considered to be potentially risky, so we dropped the radium in that module. And then the next three months, whether they were responding or not, we stopped and we switched to chemotherapy with cabazitaxel and carboplatin. After three months of treatment, we stopped, and then we switched to module three, which was enzalutamide and radium-223. In this case, we continued um, both treatments. And after nine months of treatment in patients with metastatic CRPC, we stopped everything and just continued to follow them on ADT alone. And in our poster, we show that about 20% of the patients actually with a median follow-up of up to one year, have not needed to go back on any additional therapy. So we think that this might be an interesting way of taking existing therapies and sequencing them in ways that might uh, optimize cell kill and perhaps uh, decrease the chance of resistance.